you got to do it. If mean, somebody asks you to be in Harry Potter, it's like just such a classic. Harry Potter? Ooh. I'm the follower of Voldemort. I'm basically the one and only female Death Eater. Yeah, and Bologna, she's really cool. It looks quite scary. <gasps> I also had great fun creating the look of her, because I've done witches before, and I've done the hag look, and I thought, I've got to be sexy. I'm definitely milking every moment that I have. Voldemort has returned, and they want to be able to defend themselves. And so they form this secret society, and it effectively becomes known as Dumbledore's army. It's kind of like a team where everyone learns from Harry, learns magic. Stunning is one of the most important spells in your arsenal. It's sort of a wizard's bread and butter, really. This is him fighting back and using the knowledge that he has gained over the last sort of five years to try and train up as many other people because there is a war coming. Oh, you're following me. All right. Yeah, come in. This will be our sixth year on the Potter films. It's fantastic coming back here and seeing everyone you know. What's great about Harry is that he is a flawed character. He is a hero, and he is a really good person, but he's a good person who is mired in self-doubt. Expelliarmus! I think he's an incredibly human character and really endearing, and I think that's why they're so successful, the books and the films. In the film, Hermione really believes in herself and is quite well represented in a scene in the Room of Requirements. They're practicing some spells, and Ron comes up and says... Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Oh, thank you, Ronald. It's patronising, it's just everything that she is completely against. And she just takes him out. Superfly! I fly back when uh, Hermione disarms me, and so he gets very embarrassed by that, yeah. She doesn't hold back. And action! Superfly! wanted to be Luna. It's been a fan for ages, so I always wanted to be in the films. Luna Lovegood is a bizarre character, but who Harry really feels a closeness to, because he feels that they're, they're very similar people. They're both outsiders, so they kind of bond over that, and she's wise, so she teaches them stuff. What are they? They're called Thestrals. I really want to do Luna justice, you know? exciting for me was the fact that the cast were actually getting a little bit older and the story dips into some pretty big interesting issues that was lovely Rupert that was lovely he likes the really special relationship that Dan Rupert and I have as a friendship which can be brought into Harry Potter and Hermione this story offers an opportunity for all of the cast to really push themselves as actors that was terrific Phoenix is an organisation dedicated to fighting Voldemort and fighting the Death Eaters. Original Order of the Phoenix. Part of the order was Harry's parents, Sirius Black, obviously, Mad Eye Moody, and a few others. Bit of a crew. <laughs> Do you really think there's going to be a war, Sirius? It's also got incredible sort of emotional value for Harry because it would feel like he's following in his parents' footsteps. Because it's all the same people that's always been through the years, and we're all really good mates. <laughs> I'm laughing a lot in this film, giggling in, in, in all the takes. <laughs> sit down, everybody, sit down. That's it. Now, present time. Those scenes were in the Weezes get together. Judy Waters and Mark Williams are, are really, really funny because they're always sort of ad libbing, and that old Christmas scene was really good. Cut it, they're struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed doing them. In the Prisoner of Azkaban, I've escaped from prison, and this time he's been straining a bit to get back to see Harry. Serious? What are you doing here? I had to see you off, didn't I? I kind of treat Harry like an adult, really, and there is some special relationship there because I adore Dan. You see, you've done it beautifully. He's doing such a brilliant job of the character, and it's just an honour to be working with him. One of the most interesting aspects is the relationship between Harry and Cho. A little, little time. Whenever they see each other, they're kind of just drawing closer to each other. I know people are looking forward to seeing the kiss. It's not just about the kiss, it's about the unbelievably complex relationship that Cho and Harry have. 
I knew Katie was so nervous, I was quite nervous as well. There was lots of courtesy chewing gum going in my mouth that day. Dolores Umbridge is trying to make sure that the students don't progress. She is a complete megalomaniac who needs to be absolutely in control. I will have order! It is nice to play someone who's very straightforward and very nice with a lot of other stuff going underneath. So I thought that was quite important to have a caring sort of look. I haven't worn much pink before, but this is lovely, this outfit. I'm rather getting to like them now. This is the first time we've ever actually had to do any proper fighting with ones before. What I love about it is that it doesn't look like anything else. There are certain ways of using the wand, there's certain movements and a certain physicality. One spell may be above the head, another spell may be from down below. It's not just waving around a wand. You've got to really have the intent to deliver the curse. So that's your bit of knowledge for today about wands. evidence the Dark Lord's return is incontrovertible. One of my favourite things about the film is it is dark and there's a real sense of a growing danger that you can't quite define. Harry, please, they're going to be here any second. Hogwarts is not somewhere that's safe. Uh, the Ministry has decided that they're going to take over. Good morning, children. Professor Umbridge works for the Ministry and she wants to gain power and control. <gasps> first thing she's quite funny and a bit strange, but um, she actually turns out to be a bit of a nasty piece of work. Detention, Mr. Potter! She's trying to keep everyone, you know, not doing any magic at all, so the kids go underground and form their own society. They formed Dumbledore's army because it was the only way they're actually going to learn sort of how to defend themselves. If Voldemort's building up an army, then I want to fight. Harry, Ron and Hermione are really a unit. Harry's strong as long as he's got them by the side of him.